Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet this car. When made in the 8 ply wool, which is this one, the size is 10 and a half centimetres by 8 centimetres or 4 inches by 3 inches. The medium car, made in 4 ply crochet cotton, is 6.5 centimetres by 5.5 centimetres or 2.5 inches by 2 inches. And this small car, made in pearl number 8 crochet cotton, is 4.5 centimetres by 4 centimetres or 1 and 3 quarter inches by 1 and a half inches. Now I'll be using 8 ply wool today, which is like worsted in the US and double knit in the UK. I've got grey and black for the wheels and blue for the main colour. I've got scissors, a 2.5mm crochet hook, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and needle to stitch the wheels on. Now I'll start on the bottom of the car. I start with 21 chain. For row one, I start with working two single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is called a double crochet in the UK. For a single crochet, I put my hook in to the stitch in that bottom loop and then I bring back a loop, put my yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through the two loops on my hook and I work another single crochet the same in the same stitch. So hook in to the stitch, bring through a loop, yarn around the hook and take my hook and yarn through the two loops and then I work one single crochet into each chain to the end of the row. Now that's row one complete. I've got the two single crochet in the second chain from the hook and one single crochet in each remaining chain. For row two I work one chain and turn my work over. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. So one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and I've got one stitch left and I work two single crochet in my last stitch. For row three I start with one chain and turn the work over and I work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. And that's the first three rows done. For row four we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. So one single crochet into each stitch till we've got two stitches left. Over the last two stitches we're going to work a joined single crochet. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop and then yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through all the three loops. That's the joined single crochet. For row five we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. So hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. And we work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row six, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch until we've got three stitches left.
When we've got three stitches left, we work a single crochet cluster over our three stitches. For a single crochet cluster, we put our hook into the first stitch and bring through a loop, hook into the next stitch and bring through a loop, and hook into our last stitch and bring through a loop. We've got four loops on our hook, then we put our yarn around the hook and take the hook and yarn through all the loops. That's a single crochet cluster. For row 7 we turn our work and work a slip stitch into each of the first three stitches. So we put our hook into the first stitch and bring a loop through and take it straight through the loop on our hook. And we work the same over the next two stitches. Now we work 12 chain. Now we're going to work a quadruple treble into the sixth single crochet along. So this one here. So for a quadruple treble we put the yarn around our hook five times. Then put our hook into the sixth single crochet and bring through a loop and then yarn around the hook and take it through two loops. Yarn around the hook, take it through the next two loops and continue like that. Yarn around the hook and through two and till we have none left. So that was a quadruple treble. So we need another quadruple treble in the same stitch. So yarn around the hook five times, hook in through the stitch and bring through a loop and then we put our yarn around the hook and take it through two loops. We do that six times. And now we work 12 chain. And we slip stitch into our second last stitch. So this stitch here. And then we work one chain and we're going to work a neatening row of single crochet right around our car, including across the chain at the top. So we put, find a suitable place at the top and bring up a loop and then just work a single crochet. Around the curves we'll have to work a single crochet, two single crochet into the stitches at times just to keep our work flat. I'll work two single crochet in that stitch. Just find a suitable place to put your hook not too far away from the edge. In this corner stitch here, I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then I'm going to crochet this tail in. So I hold it against my work and crochet over the top of it. So I'll just continue around working a single crochet in each stitch 
and once I get to the chain I work one single crochet in each of the chain and a single crochet in each of the quad quadruple treble and then down the side and I'll be back when I get near the end. Now when I've worked a single crochet into each stitch around the body I slip stitch into the second stitch on the body and fasten off. And that's the car body done. For the inner wheel, using my grey, I make a magic loop. For a magic loop, I put my hook on my yarn and I bring the short end over the top of the hook and then I take the long end over the short end to make a circle and put the yarn around my hook and bring the loop through my magic loop and that's a magic loop and then I work one chain and eight single crochet into my circle And then I pull my circle tight. To pull the circle tight, I take hold of the tail and ease it in as tight as I can. And then I slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. This stitch here on next to the one chain. So I put my hook in and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And then fasten off. and I'll need another centre. So I make a magic loop and work one chain and eight single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. You could always use buttons for the wheels if you'd prefer. Now I'll weave in the ends so it will make it easier to put this row of black around and I'll be back. For the outer wheel, you join your black wool in any stitch. And work two chain. And then work two double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. A double crochet is called a treble in the UK. For a double crochet, you put your yarn around the hook, hook in through the stitch and bring through a loop. Yarn around the hook. Take your hook and yarn through two loops. Yarn around the hook, hook and yarn through the remaining two loops. And we need another double crochet in the same place. Now we'll work three double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch and we'll repeat that right around the row. So three double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the following stitch 
and repeat that round to the end of the row. and then slip stitch into the top of the first stitch and fasten off and around the other wheel is worked the same so I'll work my other wheel and I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and I'll show you how to put it together now here's my pieces all I have to do for making up is attach the wheels to the the body of the car just in like that so I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished car and there's a the finished car I've also made one into a finger puppet with felt for the windows and a reverse back if you like my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns and the details of my Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.